So I got my license to distill gin here during the first lockdown here in the UK and I used some of that time to work on my vacuum distilled gin that I make using the Rotav app and serve with the homemade grapefruit tonic water as a welcome cocktail at the start of my tasting menu. I'd made gin using copper stills before but having the bit of extra time to work on a more complex recipe allowed me to focus on precision vacuum distilling botanicals to make a gin with the precise flavour profile that I wanted. I'm going to take you through the process of how I make my vacuum distilled gin today and I'm going to illustrate it by following one botanical through all of the steps from a fresh ingredient to infusion to low temperature vacuum distillation and then to taking the distilled botanicals and blending them to make my finished gin. I'm going to demonstrate this with lemon verbena because it's one of my favourite flavours, it's a prominent flavour in my gin and it's one of the ingredients that I'm actually able to grow here myself. I infused the lemon verbena into 45% neutral grain alcohol for 48 hours. If I didn't distill this mixture then its flavours would change and degrade slowly over time but vacuum distillation allows you to freeze these fresh flavours in time which is one of the things that I found endlessly fascinating about it. For some botanicals I'll use longer or shorter infusion periods than this and for some I'll even use ultrasonic infusion which is something I'll go into in another video. So the Rotovap allows me to distill at low temperatures and with most of my botanicals I'm aiming to distill them at those lower temperatures with the exception of ingredients like juniper which which I prefer distilled a little warmer to bring out some more of the piney flavours. So generally speaking though for fresh herbs and citrus I'm setting the Rotovat down to around 35 degrees which actually gives you a temperature more like 30 degrees inside the flask once you take into account evaporative cooling. So the Rotovat hooks up to a vacuum which lowers the pressure within the whole system and at lower pressures liquids boil at lower temperatures and that's what's going to allow me to do this low temperature distillation. 35 degrees is a nice gentle temperature to distill at. It's low enough that it's very gentle on your botanicals, you keep a lot of the freshness and the vibrancy of the flavour and you get a very true expression of those ingredients. So my infusion goes into the flask and that hooks up to the Rotovat and then I've dropped the pressure within the system. The flask can then be rotated which increases the surface area of the liquid and increases the speed of distillation. I can control the distillation run by managing the speed at which the flask rotates, the temperature of the water bath, the level of vacuum and the temperature of the condensing coils. The evaporated infusion condenses on these coils which are chilled down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. That condensed distillation drips down into the second flask and there I collect my low temperature distilled lemon verbena. Because both alcohol and more delicate volatile aromatics evaporate before water and heavier flavour compounds, the first part of the distillation run contains more of the alcohol and aromatics that I want to collect. Then I decide how much of the distillation I want to keep and how much I'm going to leave as the tails of the distillation. The tails contain less of the flavours that I want and more of the water, so for this lemon verbena distillation I'm going to keep the first two thirds of the distillation and leave the last thirds as the tails that I'll discard. Then I take that distillation and rectify it with water until I get the alcohol level that I want. And this is basically the process that I use for most of the distilled botanicals that make up my gin. As I went through the process of working on my gin, I built up a sort of flavour library of nearly a hundred different distilled botanicals and flavours from the unusual to the commonplace that I could test and work with and try different combinations of. So I was working with some more traditional flavours like juniper and coriander but also more unusual things like black truffle, koji, freshly baked bread, aromatic resins, beeswax and chocolate. Most of these didn't make it into the final gin but it gave me this huge variety of flavours to try working with and some of these have made it onto the menu in other areas. And having this bank of flavours really appealed to how I work as a chef so rather than doing one distillation run and then tasting it I was able to make micro adjustments, experiment and then really hone in on the profile that I wanted and work on that until I got exactly the sort of flavour that I wanted for my gin. I went through a lot of versions before I settled on my finished gin but then once I had my recipe it was just a case of making larger batches of my distilled botanicals and because of the precision nature of the distillation I could get really consistent results. And so this is the finished gin that I make and one of the things that was great about going through this process is that I can match both the flavour of the gin and the homemade grapefruit tonic water so they complement each other perfectly. It's really fresh and vibrant and that of course is one of the great benefits of doing the low temperature vacuum distillation. 
I think that it makes for a great start to my tasting menu. And I think it's also a great statement of intent that the very first thing that you're gonna get is a homemade vacuum distilled gin with homemade tonic. And it speaks hopefully to a level of the attention to detail that I'm putting into the food throughout the tasting menu. I hope you found this interesting and there's obviously more elements to this that I can return to in more detail and in particular I think that the ultrasonic infusion is something that people would find interesting. If you've enjoyed the video please give me a like and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.